Okay, today we're going to talk about posture and how you can correct it. And it's actually very simple in many ways. You really don't have to do a lot of exercises. You just have to determine which are the most important ones or the key factors or exercises that are going to make a big difference to you. Or however your weaknesses are, are tight muscles which need to be stretched and loosened and the weak ones need to be strengthened. And the only way that you can have an effective change on the posture is with time because it was time that created the poor posture in the first place. It wasn't like one exercise you've, or one you slipped over and oh, suddenly I've got poor posture. It was something that was creeping up on you for a long time from repetitive movements that you've been doing or, or activities or actions or even things that you weren't, weren't doing that probably caused it. So, so if that's true, if it, time creates it, it's also too true that time uh, corrects it, right? So the way that you, you need to do this is determine your key exercise and then do it for a certain amount of time. The, the magic number is three minutes. Now that's three minutes of time of tension if you're trying to strengthen it. If it's stretching, it doesn't necessarily need to be three minutes, it just needs to be done at the right time of the day and in the right method. And there's plenty of other articles that we have on that, um, and videos that you can research on that as well. In this video today, I'm just gonna show you two things. One's a stretch and one's a strengthen. And if you were to do this throughout the day and you did it for at least three minutes of strengthening, you'd, you'd, and you did it every day, over a period of time, you'd be dramatically changing your posture. So Melissa's gonna come in and I'm gonna show you how you do it. So this is an exercise we call a cobra. And this is an exercise that's trying to provide strength in the back extensors to provide her in a thoracic extension where she can hold her posture up nice and tall as opposed to like a kyphosis type posture like that. All right, so these muscles become stretched, meaning they become long and weak from the repetitiveness of doing it all the time. So we want to have something that reverses it and has a repetitiveness of holding it upright all the time without you having to think about it and consciously do it. Just automatically that's what it does because uh, the gravity of just Earth is sort of pushing you down. So you're sort of constantly fighting it even though you don't see it. All right, so these muscles are really already in a position of like weakness. All right, so the way we do it, Melissa comes up extends her chest, she makes sure it keeps her head sort of in a more of a neutral position as such. Very important to keep her hands sort of out there, that's good extension and the way we would get her to do this is she would hold that for say 10 seconds. She could do it longer if you wanted to, so that would be about 10 seconds, so she'll come back down, take a couple of easy breaths, come back up, do it again. All right, now we would do this six times, so six times 10 seconds equals one minute. And after that one minute, we'll get her to do a stretch. So she's going to come up and do a lunging stretch for us. So kneeling on her hands and on her knee. Kneeling hip flexor stretch. All right. So now she's going to do a stretch. We're, we're trying to stretch through here. She's going to tuck her pelvis under. She's going to get her belly button to hold that pelvis in place. She's going to bring her right arm up like this. Her left arm's going to grab that elbow. It's going to gently pull it across and try and twist away at the same time. So now, from someone who sits down too often, this muscle here is very, very tight. So now we're sort of loosening a tight muscle in combination with strengthening a weak muscle. So as soon as you hold that for, say, 30 seconds with each leg, straight away go back to the cobra, six lots of 10 seconds again. That will give us two minutes of the cobra with, say, a minute of the stretch. And then we'd only have one more time to go around. Now, once we've hit that three minute mark, she's going to start to make postural changes. All it needs now is repetitiveness of doing it every day um, for it to start to kick in and take place permanently without her even being aware that it's changing. So if she's someone that holds a lot of neck pain and shoulder pain, most likely we'll find that that will start to disappear for no reason at all. Well, there is a reason. The reason is that she's working through here. Um, and this is, this is how you can really dramatically change injuries. Because um, most injuries just happen because of postural problems. So performance will improve, she's a runner, she'll get better air. If she's just doing strength training, she'll find that she can lift more weights above her head or, or just lift things more in general because she's in a better position to start. 
So basically, just everything improves like off the chart just from doing two simple things like that. All right, so hopefully I'll provide you with some great answers. If you want to find out more, go to www.noregretspt.com.au and you'll find out uh, you know, there's loads, tons of videos and articles about this stuff because most people have never been told and yeah, you can just get heaps of stuff that will help you to improve and take your training to the next level.